Hey guys, welcome to Coders Arcade. So recently we are observing that one of our video, that is C programming for problem solving for VTU, is getting very good response. So I thought let's do some videos on C programming lab for VTU as well. So from this playlist onwards, we are gonna start making videos on C lab for VTU using the same syllabus that is being used for VTU colleges. So this way it will be very useful for all the students which are currently studying C lab programs in the respective VTU colleges. So if you guys have any doubts related to C programming lab then you can go through this playlist and I hope it will help you guys a lot. So this playlist will be containing all the C programs that are in your syllabus and one by one we are going to discuss all of them. So without any further ado let's begin with this playlist and I wish you guys all the best for your exams. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. This is Vishwajit and in this video we are going to talk about palindromes in C. So before we begin, I would like to request you people to like, share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the topic. Today we'll be discussing uh, how to implement a C program to determine whether a given number is palindrome or not. Before I begin the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and please do click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. All right, let's begin. So here, this is the source code, but before we dwell into the source code, let us see how the program is executed and how it works. So uh, it is already built and it's it's compiled as well so let us try to execute it palindrome okay let's center this number one two three four five any number you take so it it outputs the reverse number is five four three two one and it says one two three four five which is actually the original number that has been input is not a palindrome okay so let us try one more number one two two one so in this case, it is a palindrome. According to the definition, a palindrome is a number which reads the same uh, forward as well as backward. That is, if you reverse the number, the value doesn't change. Okay, So it is like a mirror reflection. Now, uh, let's try one very simple example once more so that we can use this example to understand the code. We'll use this number 1 to 1 to understand the code. So 1 to 1, of course, is a palindrome. All right. Oh, I'm just going to clear the screen. Yeah, so uh, here we're importing the necessary libraries, whatever is required, uh, the header files, these are called as header files. So then this third line, we're beginning our main program where the execution actually starts. And on line six, we have um, declared the variables, four variables, temp, rev, rev, and num, and remainder, okay? And one of them, we have also initialized its value to zero, okay? On the next line, we're prompting the user to enter the number by printing this particular text, okay? And this prompt will actually happen via scanf. So this, fu this function will take the input from the user and stores the value of the integer using percent %d formatter in the variable num, okay? So we now have the value of the num, which we're going to determine whether it is a palindrome or not, okay? So uh, num is also assigned to temp variable, okay? So that later on, if num is modified, it will still be, still be available to us in the temp variable, okay? So the logic to calculate the reverse of the given number is in while loop, all right? So let's try to understand how the while loop is working. Okay, so now while num is not equal to zero, that is while this is true, okay, enter the loop. So in this case, let's say we have, we're entering 121. So 121 is not equal to zero, okay. So it comes here, executes the first line, that is remainder is equal to 121 mod 10. What will be the value of remainder if 121 is divided by 10? It will be one, yeah. So now we have the value of the remainder. So next, next line, we're doing num is equal to num divided by 10. That is 121 divided by 10. Integer divided by an integer. The C compiler calculates it as an integer. So the value of the number will be 121 divided by 10 is 12. Okay. So 
next thing is we are calculating the reverse of the number. It, it, it will be calculated once the whole while loop is executed. When we come out of while loop, we'll have the actual reverse number. That is why we are dividing uh, number by 10, okay? Every time we loop through the while loop, okay? So now what is the value of reverse? Zero times 10 is zero plus remainder, okay? Remainder is one. So the value of reverse number is one, okay? Now we see that num, the value of num is 12. So again, it goes to the while loop. 12 is not equal to zero. So it comes here, remainder. When 12 is divided by 10, what is the remainder? Remainder will be two, okay? So now again, we are dividing num by 10, okay? And assigning it back to the same, same variable. So 12 by 10 is one, okay? So uh, we again calculate the, using the same formula, we calculate the reverse value. Uh, reverse is 1, 1 times 10 is 10, 10 plus remainder is um, 2, right? Remainder is 2. So 2, 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay. Now again, 1 is not equal to 0. Again, it enters the while loop. So remainder uh, will be equal to 1 more 10 is 1. Yeah. And num, num is this time 1, 1 by 10 will be 0. Okay. 0 and reverse number will be 12 times 10 okay that previous value is 12 12 times 10 is 120 yeah plus remainder is 1 so 121 now if we want to go back into the loop it is not possible because the value of num is 0 so 0 not equal to 0 is false so this loop will not be executed so the final value of the reverse number is 121 okay now rest of the code uh, is where we decide, where we determine actually whether the number is a palindrome or not, okay? So, but before doing that, we were, we were going to print the reverse number is such and such. In our case, it's REV, that is the variable which is holding the reversed number, okay? And the next line uh, on line 20, if reversed number, that is if REV is equal to temp, okay? That temp is the actual number entered, remember? we retain the actual value of num in temp. So if reverse number is, is equal to temp, then what are we going to say? We're going to say printf uh, percent d, that is this particular number temp is a palindrome, else printf it is not a palindrome. That is if reverse number is not equal to the original number, then print it is not a palindrome. And that's, that's, that's it for this piece of code and this code which actually determines whether a given number is palindrome or not. And that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, post them in the comment section below. I'll try to clarify those doubts. And once again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. And this is Vishwajit signing off. Catch you in the next one.